Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah with the little mini haul. This mini haul is from Dollar Tree. Just got back from there a couple of minutes ago. Wanted to show you some of the interesting things that I found at my local Dollar Tree. Of course, not sponsored, um, you know, all my own cashy money, blah, blah, blah. Our Dollar Tree has a plus section now, which is things more than a dollar. Actually, a Dollar Tree is now a dollar twenty-five, but you know, we don't call it a dollar twenty-five tree because that's not its name. Anyhow, I went into the plus section and I got two of these. These are little, well, they call them stool stand table, stackable stool table. Uh, I wouldn't consider this a stool for anyone other than a small, very light child. This is not made to hold a ton of weight. It's got little ends on it there. I'm thinking of putting some plants on it because it's some kind of metal. They were five bucks a piece. They had several different colors. I got gray because it's pretty neutral. They had some nice blue ones. They had some odd colors. Anyway, I got those. Uh, let's see, what else did I find? A kitchen scoopery thing, which is actually not for me. Uh, <laughs> I got, oh, they have these back again, y'all. Reese's stuffed with pieces. Each one of these has five in it. They're individually wrapped. What I like to do is take them out of their outer plastic and shove them all in the freezer. So if you want a chocolatey, peanut buttery, something you snack, you uh, pull one out of the freezer and it's like, ooh, yum. I have like a, a Reese's cup, right? Anyway, buck and a quarter for each of those. Something else in the food category, something that I really, really like, and you don't see them that often, at least I don't. The lemon cream, are they Nikot, Nekot, whatever, sandwich crackers. They have lemony stuff in them. You know I love my lemony stuff. So there you go. Buck and a quarter. And, oh, the receipt, of course. Um, I got these for probably making loveys. The reason I picked these up, I want to try them out. They're super stretchy, like for somebody with big hair. But if you have a stuffy to put this around that you're making a lovey for that's got kind of a big head, this will stretch really easily and not be too binding on it. So I figured I'd get that. These for some of the same reason, although I might try making a hair scrunchie with it. You never know. Always good to experiment with the cheapies. As far as plant stuff goes, I couldn't help myself. And their seeds, if, if your Dollar Tree still has them, are still four for a buck. I got two different versions of morning glories. Now morning glories remind me of my grandmother because she always had morning glories growing outside and I thought that would be kind of cool to see if I could have them growing too. No guarantees, no guarantees whatsoever. You may have seen on other people's haul videos that Dollar Tree has t-shirts. Now most of the shirts they have, they have a lot of youth sizes and they have adult sizes like up to XL, they have a few XLs but not many. Um, some of them are super soft, some of them have pockets, some don't. The only ones in 2X that I found at my Dollar Tree, and 2X was the biggest size they had, were these with the no sleeves. And I thought, what the heck, these are Gildan, you know, heavy cotton, 2XLs, and, and they are 100% cotton. What I was thinking of doing with at least one of them would be to cut it down the middle, take out the neck and do something with it, and like make a sleeveless kind of cardi out of it, maybe decorate it. I don't know. I don't know. It's just an idea. But a buck and a quarter a piece, these can be working on, on the house clothes. I mean, red and blue were the only, like I said, the only ones they had in a 2X. So your mileage might vary, might vary with what you can find at your store. I was surprised they had them at my store at all. Now, I also, whoops, not on the floor, in the bag. Got a little something else. Up by the register, I found these, and I was really surprised to see them there. Buttons. Jars of random buttons. Very, very cool for a buck and a quarter. These are all more darker colors, browns and blacks for the most part. A few blues in there. This is like super multicolor. But you can always use buttons for stuff. So there, there's that. And finally, they, how do they say it? Pies de resistance, whatever. For anybody who likes doing nails or doing their nails or anything like that, you know, some brands of nail polish are a little more expensive than others. One of the ones that's like mid-high and they always have it at salons 
is China Glaze. Usually Dollar Tree has LA colors, which is nice. It is what it is. It's pretty good. But they had a small selection of China Glaze. What? And I know they're not like this year's colors or whatever, but I don't care. This was an interesting one. I did find this is called Matte Magic, a flat finish top coat. I know that mattes came in. I don't know if they're still in or if they're out. I don't care what's in and out. I just kind of do what I want. Um, but I got this, which is sort of a matte top coat. I probably have four or five different glitter top coats, but I'm just kind of obsessed with glitter top coats. This is a really pretty one. And it is called golden enchantment and it not only has gold glitter in it there are other colors of glitter and it's very fine in there i just thought that was really pretty and make a nice top coat and like i said i'm kind of obsessed with the glitter this one is called snowbiz and it's kind of a bluey silver top coaty thing into the regular nail polish this is surfside skies just a very, very pale blue, which actually might look neat with that on top of it. Anyhow. Also, this one is called Yule Jewels, so probably some limited edition holiday color that they had. It is a warm red with some gold looking glitter in it and some glitter the same color as the polish. That looks lovely. And finally, this is the one I saw first and I had to have. It's called Caribbean Temptation. It is not a glitter polish, but it does have a shimmer to it. Sort of an iridescent shimmer. Oh, that's gorgeous. Anyhow, yeah, I got a bunch of nail polish because you don't often see China Glaze for a buck and a quarter a piece, right? I did not pick up anything yarny today. Uh, they did have some of the premier just active which is another acrylic yard that they put out there in in pink and in red just a couple of different really bright colors i decided not to i am trying to work from my stash I'm trying to be good you know because i don't have a lot of time to crochet so i can't crochet all the things with the yarn that i have anyway did not buy any so pat on the back for me did not buy any more yarn this time but they always have a lot of stuff there. The only section that was really wiped out there is the frozen food. Their frozen food section has been taking a hit. So, you know, getting stuff at Dollar Tree is hit or miss, depending on whether or not they can get it. And you never know what they're going to get. Always fun to go look around. For me, that's a nice relaxing, push the cart around, see what I can see. They had a lot of really cool beachy themed stuff there like a week ago. Now, most of it is gone. People have just snapped that right up. So if you get a chance, you got a Dollar Tree around, go for a look. Even if you just like pick up one thing or whatever, it is nice to just sort of get your little retail therapy out in a cheap way. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you for coming by today. Hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.